853. Melissa Dawn is here. She's founder and CEO of Your Life. She's a leadership coach, author, and a speaker. And, you know, most people have two different personas. You go to work and there's one you, and at home there's another you. And Melissa advises blurring that line and bring your weirdness to work. And I love this idea because I'm fairly weird at work, as some of my colleagues might tell you, and we all like to be because, you know, a newsroom is an interesting environment that brings out a lot of weirdness. But, you know, wh why do you think this is a good idea? Well, when I say weird, I mean like your creative self, your authentic self, your innovative self. Mm. You know, what makes you most compelling? And it's because a lot of people go to work and they leave part of themselves at home. Yeah. And then they go home and they leave part of themselves at work. But what they're really leaving behind is the opportunity to have more impact, to feel more fulfilled, and, and to have more growth at work. And as Brene Brown says, we need to choose courage over comfort. So it takes courage being weird, but it's, it's so worth it. So you say uh, to ask the, yourself the tough questions. What do you mean by that? So what makes me truly happy? Mm. What makes me so compelling? What are my values and why? Let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. One of my values is spirituality. Okay. Now, a few years ago, when I was VP in a tech company, there was no way I was bringing my spirituality to work. I'm like, yeah. everyone's going to think, you know, I'm a bit weird. Mm -hmm. But at the time, I heard about an indigenous, indigenous sacred practice. Mm -hmm. And at the startup, things were not going so well. And in this practice, it's called smudging. Have you ever okay. heard of smudging? I have not. Okay. It's basically you take sage or Palo Santo stick and you burn it and oh. it takes out stagnant energy so like new vibrant positive energies that can come in cool. I said if I'm gonna ask permission to do this they're gonna tell me no mm. so I'm just gonna show up at 6 30 a.m. and I'm gonna start smudging and nobody's gonna know anything and everything uh -huh. will be positive so you did that so here I am smudging <laughs> 6.30 a.m., of course the co-founder walks in. Of course he does. <laughs> and he just looks at me, his jaw drops, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And he said, you know what? I have a meeting with some investors. I'll see you later. And I'm like, oh, oh my goodness. I'm just going to continue smudging <laughs> and go to work. A few hours later, he's like, I don't know what you were doing, but whatever you were doing was great because we just got a huge investment. So keep doing it. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so there you go. You bring that spirituality to work and... You know, and that and good from vibes. Then on, I was able to. All right, so and then not changing um, what you won't accept. What do you mean by that? Well, if you're ever wondering how come you're not making changes in your life, it's because you're not accepting who you are in the moment. Mm. Like we have good, we have bad, we have ugly, we have messy, and and that makes all of us, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. So instead of saying, "Oh, I didn't lose the thirty pounds," "Oh, I don't have that job," or "Oh, I still don't have my Ferrari," look at what is working right. and build on that. And what about uh, getting real about what's standing in your way? It's a reality check. You want to come, you want to do your best, you want to bring up your weird, what excuses are you using? Like, why aren't you allowing yourself to move forward? And uh, who are you giving the microphone to? What do you mean by that? Yes, because there's the part of you that's saying, no, don't be weird. Like, mm. they're going to think you're crazy, but face those fears you know to me i was thinking what's the worst they can say that i smudge and i meditate like <laughs> i mean it's not a bad thing right it's not so bad give your microphone to the voice that wants you to move forward the voice that wants you to be successful and then just bringing your your weird forward daily is it something that you should really just like plan to do like put it on your to-do list or just sort of do it well as meryl streep says what makes you different or what makes you weird that is your strength so set the intention that once a day, every day, you do something you wouldn't do, like maybe speak up in a meeting, something you wouldn't, maybe meditate at work, maybe tell your boss there's something you want to move forward with. Love it. Just do something. Melissa, Dawn, thank you so much. Very interesting, <laughs> and I love that. Tips on bringing your real self, bringing your weird to work. Awesome stuff. That's all the time we have for you today. Thank you so much for being with us on Global News Morning. As always, have a great day. Good morning, Montreal.